Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and today in this video we will be talking about understanding penetration testing and this video is all about an introduction to penetration testing. So what is this penetration testing is all about? Well, penetration testing is a proactive security practice during which a cyber security professional endeavors to discover and exploit vulnerabilities within a computer system. So basically, this penetration tester is going to help us identify the potential weak point within our system's defense mechanism that the malicious attacker could potentially leverage for their advantages. So who is really going to perform this penetration testing? Well, penetration testing is done by penetration testers and penetration testers is a cyber security professional or we can also calls a white hat hacker and they are the person who are going to identify the vulnerabilities and weakness in the system before the malicious hackers can exploit them and because this penetration tester is going to be performing quite a lot of different technical operation he has to have a skill of the computer systems the network and also the cyber security much much heavily and can think pretty much like how the cyber security profession can really think of the system itself well as it said this penetration testing is quite a wide subject and there are different types of penetration testings available something like web app penetration testing mobile penetration testing, network penetration testing, social engineering penetration testing, cloud penetration testing and physical penetration testing. Because there is an emergence of the AI happening at the moment, there is also AI penetration testing. So these are the different types of testing available. So if you are looking for a specific penetration testing to be done, for example a web app, then you got to be choosing the web app penetration testing. But if you are going to be hired by a company who needs to understand the security infrastructure of their system or their organization organization, you got to be probably doing network penetration testing, cloud penetration testing and physical penetration testing. So it all depends on which category that you choose to perform the penetration testing. You got to be choosing that particular type over there. And even though there are different types of penetration testing available, actual phases of penetration testing remains the same. These are the different phases of penetration testing like planning, reconnaissance, vulnerability analysis, exploitation, post exploitation and reporting. And as like software development or software testing, the first phase is going to be the planning phase where you're going to be identifying what type of penetration testing that you got to be doing and what is the plan for this whole operation. You got to be doing that in the planning phase. The next phase is the reconnaissance phase. So what is this reconnaissance phase? Well, the reconnaissance phase is the first phase where we're going to be gathering as much information as possible to understand the target infrastructure, potential vulnerabilities and attack surface so that we can really use this information for the subsequent step to analyze what can be done to understand the security issues within our system or to strengthen our security of our system. And again, this reconnaissance can be done by two types. One is the active scanning and another one is the passive scanning. And what is this active or the passive scanning? Well, the passive scanning is mainly to monitor and analyze the network traffic, DNS queries and publicly available information to gather insights about the target without actively sending any traffic or initiating the connections on the actual system. Some of the tools that are available for this passive scanning are like Wireshark, Nmap, Shorten, the Harvester, Metasploit framework or the spider food. And the next up is going to be the active scanning. As it names, active scanning involves the actively probing a target system or network by sending the network traffic such as packets, requests or probes to identify the vulnerability and potential security weakness within the system. And there are many tools available and some of the most famous tools are like Zap, Nmap, Burp Suite, DNS Recon, DNS Enum, Sublister, etc. I mean, there are many different tools available, but I have just listed few of them which can do the active scanning for you. And I can quickly show you an example of the active scanning over here. So all you got to be doing it in here within this Kali Linux is that so Kali Linux is one of the most famous operating system which can be helpful for you, which you can use for doing penetration testing because it has got so many different tools which you can really use to perform the penetration testing. And you can see all the different phases that I was talking about, like the reconnaissance, vulnerability analysis, web publication analysis and exploitations, sniffing and spoofing, post exploitation, reporting, every single information that you need is all available in the Kali Linux over here. And the one that we are going to be doing basically in the information gathering is the reconnaissance, which is the DNS analysis. And you can see that there is a tool called as DNS enum or DNS recon and fears, which you can use to perform identification or perform an active scanning within the actual target system. So the target system that we're going to be talking about is the udemy.com. So I'm going to say DNS recon hyphen D udemy.com 
hyphen v and if i do that you will notice that it's going to give us quite a lot of information over here and some of the information that you can see over here is the soa or the service of authority and there is the ns or the name server information and there is the text information which is available on the whole udemy.com and you can see that what is the actual verification that they are using to identify the udemy.com on the google site verification they also have the information about the atlantian they're also using the apple domain verification they are using the docusign from adobe so so you can get almost all the informations over here you can also use something called as the dns enum which is going to give you even more information which is going to be pretty much like a categorized information that you can see over here so you can see that this is the host name and this is their ip address and then you can also see the wildcard detection and you can also notice that there is a name server information that they have hosted everything in the cloud fair and this is the mailing server that they have and these are the actual ip address that you can grab so that you can then further perform other operation using these ip address to see if there is an open port or something like that so this is the first and the foremost thing that we can do using the active scanning using reconnaissance and there are even more tools available something like the drb and then you can specify what that you gotta be doing but again you got the idea of how you can do the reconnaissance using active scanning in penetration testing and that's about the active scanning and the next step is the vulnerability analysis. And in this phase, the penetration tester will analyze the possible vulnerabilities the system poses. And here the penetration tester will actively verify all the possible ways the system can verify how the system can be penetrated. And the next phase is the exploitation phase. And in this phase is where penetration tester will involve attempting to leverage identified vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access or control over a system network or applications. So this is the place where we can do the spoofing and also we can take control or the gain the control or the command over control operation on the system to see if we can able to exploit the system and perform all the operation pretty much like how the threat actor will do within our system. And they finally, the post exploitation and reporting is the phase where we're going to do all the incident recording of how the system was tried to be hacked and what are the different vulnerabilities that we have within our system or the security gaps that we have within our system so that we can just understand everything, incident them, report them, and then present it as a report so that the company can really use that to increase their security of their organization or system within their organizations. So this is a super, super high level of what is penetration testing, what are penetration testers job, and what are the types of penetration testing, and what are the phases of penetration testing. But as you can see, there are many different tools and techniques available in penetration testing, which you need to probably do quite a lot of research to understand how penetration testing can be done and in this new series that i'm going to be launching within our exit automation we are going to be covering quite a lot of different tools which is available in the penetration testing world and especially during the active scanning and how we can do the web app penetration testing using zap and also how we can do some information gathering using dns analysis and os int and also some of the spoofing and the sniffing operations we can learn all these operation in this particular series so i'm pretty much excited like how I'm going to be sharing all these information in the penetration testing world, apart from the automation testing that we have been discussing in our exit automation channel so far. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.